I would love to get my hands on Gordon. This is my daughter-in-law, Melissa. Melissa, this is hello. Jason's Hi. wife, my son, Brian. Chef, how are you? Are you well? The first time I saw him when he came in, I was definitely a little skeptical. I do my own thing back here, and I'm very content with that. So let's start with Carol. What's the problem? We have problems with staff. We have problems with Brian. Uh, OK. He's uh, a bit arrogant and a lot arrogant. Because I, I say what needs to be said, and you Peter people don't want to hear it. Too bad. That's not true. We're here to make money. Yeah. And if you're not going to do your job, get out. I'm sorry, Brian, but it you does stem. It, me. It's, it stems from him, because yeah. he won't listen to Buddy. An example like Valentine's Day. I wanted him to do a nice Valentine's Day menu. He didn't see the need for it because we're an Irish pub. He didn't think anybody would come in for an Irish pub for Valentine's Day. No about it. It's half years. It's the night before Valentine's Day. And well, they say, we want to do a place wasn't the night before. Wait, no, wait, 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 Oh, boy. Right now, I'm hungry. I want to taste the food, and let's meet after, shall we? I was pretty nervous. I wonder what he's going to see. I wonder if we're going to get really blasted, you know? There's our lunch Love. menu. Thank you. I'm like, I'm about to serve Chef Ramsay. Like, this is so cool. The clams, are they fresh clams? Um, honestly, it's frozen. I'll start with the, uh... Fin the spring roll, please. Good choice. Thank you. Can I go for the salmon as well, please, darling? For main course, I'll have a shepherd's pie, please, I think. OK. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. <coughs> I, I want to see you and Ramsey uh, chug. Chug. Yeah, yeah. Oh, smoke. Tuck him in the bed. Good night, chef. Good night. <laughs> I'm a very confident person, and I've been in the kitchen for a long time. I'm almost positive we'll get a good review. When you get a family business right, it goes on for generations. And here, it doesn't feel like a family-run business at all. Pubs are full of atmosphere, fun. It's got tweed neck curtains, like you're going to visit your granny. Weird. Here you are, some spring rolls with Coleman's mustard. Wow. God. Very strange, bizarre looking spring roll. Are they popular on the menu? Um, people really like them. No doubt half the customers are drunk. This is the tough half hour of my life. Not a big hit. You like it? No. Brian's in the kitchen, like wondering. I'm just like, nope. Are you kidding me? He really thought that. I was going to walk back there and be like, he loved it. You know, he, he wants you to come work for him. Come on. Let me try that one. Let me get you some clean silverware. Thank you. Go on. And what's this stuff with, please, uh, Melissa? On top is a balsamic reduction. He likes to use that a lot. He likes that, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. He, on everything, he puts a little drizzle on. A little? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Always the sign of a very insecure chef when he macerates everything in pulse wound vinegar. Look at this. Ah, horrible. Doesn't taste of salmon at all. Off through? Does my shepherd's pie have any pulse wound vinegar? No. Good. Lovely. I don't even think he likes the water. I feel like inviting my grandman for lunch. Could you not have got a bigger basket? I feel sorry for that poor, lonely bread roll in there. But let me just have a look at it before you serve it. Yeah. Oh, Christ, I feel like saying a prayer. So, um... A lunch menu and a dinner menu. We Ooh, have... Dave Miz greens with sunflower seeds, dried cranberries and Montrachet cheese. God, is there anything plain on here, Jane? I think it's all good. Thank you for that. Is the crab fresh? No, it's canned. It's canned? Mm -hmm. We'll can that one then. Baby spinach salad with strawberries, goat's cheese, asparagus, hard boiled egg, and grilled garlic shrimp. Strawberries and shrimps. Mm hmm. I'll start with that, please, as my appetizer. Absolutely. I've got to think about a chef's perception of food when he starts to put strawberries with fresh garlic shrimps. We'll see how he likes it. He's a customer. Customer is almost always right. Dear God, for what we're about to receive, may the Lord not kill me with food poisoning. 
Mm. Oh, Jesus. That's disgusting. I'll wait for the next course. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Sadly, the uh, prawns are uh, stone cold and undercooked. OK. Uh, yeah, prawns are undercooked and cold. When he sent the first dish back, I knew that we were going to have a little problem. Yeah, I wrote for stuff for AFP, stuff for Pink. Thank you. OK, bon appetit. Big, dirty, greasy chip plate and, like, a big, overgrown ball of pubic hair. Deep fat fried. I'm fucked if I'm eating that shit, that's for sure. As tough as old boots. Go on. Damn. Raw carrot. Fine if you're a fucking rabbit. How's your steak? Um, carrots were raw. Steak was tough. Um, and that was just a big ball of grease. Um, the play was interesting. Especially with the chip. Gordon gave us a scathing review. Thank you. It's lazy, it's dirty, and it's just bad. I mean, really crap. Your carrots were raw, your steak was tough, and your uh, shoestring potatoes was a big ball of grease. A big ball of grease? Nightmare in Grandma's house. Fuck me. Thank God she's dead. Michelle definitely does not respond to criticism. He likes to be the man. You seem proud of that food. You seem quite... Yeah, I like it. You like I, it? Yeah, I think it's good. I mean, don't take this personally. Yes. I thought your food was crap. Tasteless, bizarre. Your food was long-winded, boring, and just, you know, badly done. Honestly, I've never seen anyone talk to Michelle in the way Ramsey talked to him. As a waitress, I don't get complaints about the food. The only complaint I might get is uh, a food cold. Jane, I'm not asking you to blow smoke up his arsehole. <laughs> I've just sat there for the last hour and had one of the worst meals I've ever eaten. That's a matter of opinion. Oh, God. You know, not... Are you that fucking arrogant? A matter of opinion? No, not being that arrogant. If you're such a passionate chef, and you are a natural because you're French and yes. you, know, uh -huh. you love cooking. Yes. Why are you serving tin crab meat? Um, tin crab, the main reason is because the restaurant is quiet. I buy fresh crab, goes bad really fast, so I have to buy this, uh, this crab. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to get inside your mind so I can start breaking down okay. how stupid you are. I don't think he likes Michelle. I've never heard such a complex menu in my entire life. Probably not. OK. Um, OK, I'm going to start with some um, calamari. Calamari? Yes. Um, they're fresh? Yes, it is. Small portion of calamari. OK. Um, Chef Gordon questioned the, the quality of the calamari. Uh, my calamari is fresh. And then for um, my entree, I'd like to have a New York strip. OK. Can you make me a little uh, fresh pizza? What you type decide. of pizza would you, you like? You, you, you I'll decide. decide. Yeah? Perfect. Thank you. Lou, set me up a small dough, please. And what's your name? Sonia. Sonia. Good Hi. to see you. Nice to meet and you. What do you do? Um, I'm an actress. You're an actress? Yes, ah. I am. Put her up! Do you play with Sebastian? Because he's an actor. Oh, no. Oh, OK. I haven't. And the calamari. Uh, are they fresh or are they frozen? They are frozen. Frozen. Good deal. He told me they're fresh. And they're not fresh, they're frozen. That confirms two things. Shit chef. And a dishonest one. Can I get you anything? No. A sick bag? He asked me for a sick bag, which I just didn't know what to say, so I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, God. He said that he wanted a puke bag. Excellent. Fantastic. I didn't know what to say, though. You don't have to say anything. Okay. You say yes, sir, and walk away. Okay. No problem. Okay. Sebastian, just, you could tell in his face that he wasn't very happy with the comment. I understand the guy's a professional, but to say something like that, a sick bag, come on. This is the house speciality? Um, yes. Yes, and what kind of pizza is it? What flavor? It's a Popeye pizza. Popeye? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hey. Hey. So I got the chef here, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's in the dining room eating. Oh, 
Oh, really? Yeah. He, uh, he thinks my food is terrible. He thinks your food is terrible? Yep. The waitress asked, can I get you anything else? He said, yeah, a sick bag. Oh, sir. Yeah. I don't agree with his opinion. Uh, throw him out. Ah, <laughs> throw him out. Yeah. Yeah. With two wood-burning ovens there, I thought at least they would be able to be in a position to do a, a stunning pizza, but the base is soggy. It's all watery. Surely to Christ they make a fresh piece of dough here. Sonia. I want you to play it to him, and I want you to say, as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. Manja? Yes. And as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. My God. It's very difficult to manja without yes, my knife and fork. Of course, I'm sorry. I should have brought you a clean one. You've got the part. Thanks. Relax. OK. It looks like a can of dog food. What an embarrassment to New York strip steak. Just chopped and cooked to hell. Everything's under seasoned. Enough canned pet food for today. I thought this was fine dining. So did I. So did <laughs> I'll wait for the next course. OK. Chicken nachos? Oh, God, that was quick. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Enjoy. Oh, who's that shouting at? What, 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 what? Our executive chef, Ricky. Look at them diamonds on that. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. You have an executive chef in the house? Yes. And he buys in processed food? Say so what? Yes. Ah. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. We got diamonds on the fish. I'm good at my job. I love my recipes. I let my work speak for itself. Fine dining nachos. Something's not quite right. How is everything? Uh, yeah, really weird. Are they fresh nachos or are they bought in? Uh, the chef makes them fresh in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they were made fresh this morning, my darling. Ricky, when did you make the tortilla chips? Oh, uh, yesterday. I'm about to walk home right now. The nachos, like, it was the cheapest thing he's ever seen. What the fuck can you do with nachos? You know what I mean? What well, they call them nachos. That's why it's an appetizer, you know? Oh, God. The rack of lamb with the chocolate mint sauce. There's fresh mint, chocolate syrup. I like it. I got to be really creative with it. Damn, that looks good. God, it's so quick. OK. Where's the lamb? No, no, not that. Where's the lamb? Ah. Uh... Look. My knife's bigger than my lamb. <laughs> what we're about to eat, may the Lord make us truly not vomit. It's going to be a long day. Could you ask the chef, is the lamb frozen? Yes. Oh, the lamb is frozen? Yes. And he's just taking bites of stuff. Is this frozen? And I'm like, yeah. Is there any main course that's on the fine dining menu that's not frozen? Sad to say, but no. They're, everything is frozen. OK. Um, do you know what? I'll skip any further frozen food and maybe have a nice, fresh dessert, please. OK. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I haven't fucking eaten anything yet. Yeah, you know, he shot everything down pretty much, you know, but that's one person's opinion, you know? And he's entitled to it. So that's that. And what would you recommend for the dessert? There you go. For the dessert, I would recommend the brownie a la mode. Brownie? The brownie a la, a la mode. mode. He was like, Put your hand up and swear to God that it's a brownie that's made, homemade, from here. OK. All right, let's go with the brownie. OK. Wow. What a shame. When you first arrive and you're excited about coming in to eat somewhere, and then half the menu missing, 90% of it frozen, and uh, chocolate mint sauce with bones of lamb. There was a big-ass pan in here full of fucking brownies. I go in there, and there's no more homemade brownies. Buzzard! I don't know what happened to the brownies. I didn't do it. Don't ask the buzzard. I don't know. Does anybody know what happened to that big thing of brownies that were in there? They're gone already. When? A couple of days ago, why? They were just in there like three days ago. It irritates the living daylights out of me. We should have everything that is on our menu at all times, and we don't. I'm just, I'm gonna quit. Seriously. Fuck that, don't even talk like that, man. You gonna let one motherfucker just piss you off like that? No, you piss me off because you don't fucking run this shit, man. We should have all this shit. 
know what's what, on what, the fucking What the fuck are you talking about? You coming back here asking me what's in this, what's in that? You should know that shit already. I know the fucking... All right, then don't fucking ask me shit. No, we don't got shit now. Don't fuck... All right, then don't fucking blame it on me. You shut the fuck up. What's going on?